Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at a stampabove.com coming to you live from Benasha, Wisconsin. I'm just going to wait for a few people to pop on here. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I'm going to pull you up on my screen. I was just trying to do a little shopping. Hi Connie, Robin, Lisa. Just trying to do a little shopping on... Um, Maurice's.com and of course I like to go to the store so I can see the whole outfit on something and go oh I like that like I don't like I'm not good at just picking out shirts I want like the whole deal so I finally found something I liked on Maurice's.com and guess what it's only available in small and extra small who like even wears that size <laughs> I know people do <laughs> I'm not one of them so I just want to wish you guys, I'm trying to find my own page here. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I feel like I had just the most fabulous day. Um, Haley and Jared came over for breakfast this morning and that was wonderful because they had to bring Val with them. <laughs> and I got to feed her and snuggle her and it was funny because I fed her a whole bottle. And um, I had her laying in my lap. I burped her and she burped pretty good. And I had her laying in my lap. And then all of a sudden there were little torpedoes coming right out of her hiney. <laughs> and, it was, and I was like, oh. And then Haley looked at Jared and I looked at Jared. Jared scooped her up, took care of it. He had to change her diaper like three times in 20 minutes. <laughs> First he took her and changed her and then he gave her back to me and then we heard torpedoes and then he took her and changed her again and then he gave her back to me and then she peed. <laughs> it was pretty funny but I had just a really nice day and then um, my stepdaughter Stephanie stopped over and we're social distancing but my husband is building a new deck and Stephanie's new boyfriend is um, he does siding and kind of replacement construction type things I don't know for sure anyways um, she brought him and when I say new boyfriend it's been many months now but we don't get to see them very often so they stopped by to talk about the deck and maybe some other projects that we have going on here, but it was really nice to see them. And so I have presents to share with you that Stephanie and Lee is his name brought, and I think I really like him. Like we met him at Christmas and he was super nice, but you know, you got all the family around and there's a lot of chaos and kids and the whole deal. So today was really nice and um, it was nice to get to just talk with him a little bit. And again, social distancing you know we were we were good everything was good but I'm really getting tired of this I know you all are too but we're gonna we're gonna stay strong right gonna hang in there we're gonna try not to complain too much but we're all entitled to our complaints however big or small however petty or monumental we're all entitled to a little bit of venting so if you find people doing that please 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 don't be hard on them. Everybody has their limit of what they can deal with. And just that to be able to do that little bit of venting and not have people attack them for it, I think is super, super important for that person's mental health. Right? So don't be judgy. <laughs> I know we can all be kind of judgy. I can be kind of judgy too, but try to try to hang on to it. Everybody's dealing with their own crud right now. Hi, Haley. Hi, Pamela. Denise is on. Um, I wasn't on yesterday, and I feel like today I was giddy because I got to do my, I'm, I'm doing my Facebook Live this afternoon. I'm like, oh my gosh, I miss everybody so much. So I'm really happy to see you here. And who just broke the rules? Somebody broke the rules. Diana broke the rules. Hey, you know what, Diana? You got to do what you got to do, right? It's your deal. You got to do what you got to do. So I, I get it. I totally get it. Um, yeah, so Stephanie and Lee brought some presents up. Should I save the presents until we're done stamping or do you guys want me to do them now? I know I've gotten some, I shouldn't even tell you this, but I'm gonna because we're friends. I've gotten some kind of disturbing emails lately. 
you know, just the same old, same old. People are getting crabby and they don't want to hear everything about my life. This isn't the channel for you. <laughs> I'm okay with that. You can find somebody else. <laughs> but yeah, people are getting real cranky and I just want to remind you to be nice. That's all. Hi, Francie. Linda got her hair cut yesterday. Good for you. I know uh, my friend Barb went and got her hair done and everybody was masked up and, you know, they were the chairs are like spread way far apart in the salon and I don't know. But she's in a state where they don't they don't have a pro they don't have a problem. Like there were six confirmed cases of corona in their entire state. So they're doing pretty good there. We may be moving to Wyoming. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> At least there we could hug each other. I really miss hugging people. Like, that's really hard, right? Because when you greet somebody, like, we're huggy people. And you can't hug anybody. And that's kind of sad. So, anyways. Um, yesterday, Steve and I, I told you guys that I, ah, oh, I'm so jealous who just said that. Cheryl got her nails done. Oh, and Jackie's getting her nails done on Thursday. Oh, jealous. Um, yesterday, I I had told Steve that I wanted to go for a drive. I just wanted to go someplace. And I said, let's head over to Lake Michigan and just drive along the lake and just, just do something. You know, like that's all we can do is go drive someplace. And um, Diane is a hugger too. I know, right? And um, so instead, we didn't go over to Lake Michigan, but we drove around Lake Winnebago. And that's our big lake here in Wisconsin. And it's only like... That's the one I ride my bike to. So we did that, and that was really just a really nice drive. And it was funny, because when we were going down there, there was a lot of stupid drivers out yesterday, and Steve does not have a lot of patience for that. And so he was getting kind of tense and going, oh my gosh, drive that car, what are you doing? And whatever. And um, I had to like put my hand on his arm and say, Steve, Steve, this is supposed to be relaxing. Calm yourself down, we're not in a hurry. And he goes, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> so I'm like, cool your jets, mister. Yeah, so um, if you guys came in late, wishing you all a happy Mother's Day, whether you are a mother and have children or everybody has a mother or had a mother, we're celebrating their day, right? Um, yeah, I know, because I know some of our mothers have passed. Some of us don't have any kids. Maybe you have a fur baby. That makes you a mom, too. I, I'm not judgy that way. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. What else? Oh, if you can sh click click on share, you can share my video right now. I really appreciate it. Jenny's giving virtual hugs. Thank you, Jenny. That is so sweet, right? I know, because I really kind of miss hugging people. I, I miss when you see somebody you haven't seen in like a week or two. It's huggy time. and ugh. Connie hates stupid drivers too. I know. It's, but you just got to, just got to relax, right? Because you can't control what they're doing. You can only control your behavior. That's the way I kind of look at it. So I did. I told them, cool your jets. <laughs> yeah. Jenny loves hearing about my life. Thank you, Jenny. Because this is my show, I get to talk about my life. And like I said, the people that are not happy about that, they need to go someplace else. And that's their choice. They, they have all the power. Don't criticize. Yeah. It's not fun. So... <clears throat> Oh, I have to give you a little update on John. So if you guys caught my Facebook Live where I was talking about my husband and how he keeps track of our neighbor next door because our driveway and their driveway is right there and then their house. <laughs> so my husband kind of keeps an eye on John. He lives next door with his wife. And um, John got a new riding lawnmower. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. <laughs> like. Steve had to come in here. My door was closed. I was shooting videos. He came into my office. He comes barging in and I'm like looking at him and he goes, John got a new rider. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to shoot it. It's so funny. And he, um, he backed it off of his work truck on some ramps and then his wife got on it to steer it and he pushed it around the other side of their house into their backyard. Like, why don't you start up your new rider and drive it over there? We don't know. John's a little different. Steve's a little different too, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. So anyways, <clears throat> um, <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to award 
the drawings from what should have been my Sunday Facebook Live was actually on Tuesday. So I went back to Tuesday. I always give away three things, right? First of all, if you're new to me, please make sure that you leave um, a comment. You can just say, hi, this is Sue coming from Arizona or whatever. But you definitely want to comment because you get um, entered in a drawing to win prizes. And Jackie just asked if Steve is jealous. Maybe a little bit, but I have to tell you, Steve bought a new riding lawnmower last fall. And he was pretty jacked about it because we've always bought used riding lawnmowers. And then he has to do a ton of work to them, right? And um, so he went and bought a new riding lawnmower and he was pretty excited about it. He went to use it and the blade wouldn't turn. So then, um, oh, and the battery was dead. <laughs> like it's a brand new mower. So they came and got it and took it back to figure out what was wrong with it and fix it. And when they brought it back, they backed the trailer into the driveway and Steve got up on the rider to back it off and, and bring it home. It wouldn't start. <laughs> like that was the last straw, it wouldn't start. And Steve looked at the guy and the guy's like, well, we can push it off. And Steve's like, really? You can take it back. And he, they took it, they took it back to their place, and we don't have a new riding lawnmower anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, he'll probably get one pretty soon. But we have a lot of other things going on around here. We're building a deck. Well, we're not doing anything. He's building a deck, <laughs> and he's also going to be getting ready to pour a concrete slab for our pavilion. That's going to be our outdoor tiki bar. Remember, I bought that pavilion thing from Costco last year. It's really nice, and we got a really good deal on it, and I'm super excited about it, but we're going to build a bar in it, and so it's going to be right right off my office right here, so yeah, yeah. Okay, so back to the winners. I got off on a tangent there, didn't I? Um, first of all, tonight I am going to be using the Parisian Blossoms products, which are just beautiful. I feel like I haven't gotten to play with them enough, so we're going to play with those tonight. And um, so I have, let's see, is this my commenter? I don't remember who's, okay, so let's say this is for a comment. <laughs> it's either a comment or sharing my video. So don't forget to share because you get entered in another drawing. These are the Champagne Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And I believe these are still on back order. So this is a pretty hot little commodity right now. These are gorgeous and they're peach colored and they just match the whole suite so pretty so for leaving a comment from tuesday which was my sunday facebook live we have a winner kathy schmidt of park falls wisconsin and i was really surprised when i um, looked up kathy's address because we go bear hunting in park falls wisconsin which is way up north for us and so I know Park Falls very well. So congratulations, Kathy. This will be in the mail to you. I already have envelopes ready to roll. So those will go out tonight in the mailbox and they'll go out in the mail tomorrow. And then for sharing, oh, Judy wants to know what does squirrel mean? Well, so when you're talking about something and then all of a sudden you jump to another subject, I go squirrel. You know, like kids playing soccer, they're out playing soccer and running and all of a sudden there's a plane overhead and they all stop and go like this. That's what it means. It's just like you can't keep your thoughts in one place for too long. <laughs> um, for sharing my video, the winner is getting the metallic edged ribbon, which we're also using tonight. And I think this is available to order. Um, our winner is Susan Reed of Albany, New York. So congratulations, Susan. I'm glad that you're winning. I already have the cute little envelope ready and postage on it, so this will go out in the mail tomorrow. I feel like I'm a little ahead of schedule because lots of times it takes me a while to get all that stuff out of here. And then for placing an order in the last week, I have the Parisian Beauty stamp set. This is such a pretty set. I love that. Um, um, Leaning Tower of Pisa? No. What is that called, you guys? Oh, I feel like such a dummy. Um, yeah, that thing. What is it? What is it, you guys? The Leaning Tower of Pisa, we were in it. Well, kind of. We were there. We didn't go to Paris, though. This is the 
I don't know what it's called. But anyways, Parisian Beauty. This is going out to Regina Smith of Hogansville, Georgia. Congratulations. And again, I have this ready to go in the mail. Did you guys tell me what this is? I know what it is. I just can't think of it. I'm terrible with geography. and Eiffel Tower. Yes, Debbie. Thank you. And I see Seal and Francie and everybody else knows what the Eiffel Tower is except me. Oh my Lord. Okay, I got a couple cards in the mail. I'm going to share those with you right away too. I think this is really cool. Look at this. This uses the Magnolia Lane, but look at It's a buckle card. So that slips right in to here. Look at how pretty that is. This is from Connie, Connie Piasecki, and she is on here tonight. She says, hi, Kelly. I just wanted to send you a quick note to thank you for all your hard work in daily Facebook Lives. You are so committed to your job and have inspired all of us during this time. Thanks for your projects, ideas, and all the laughs. Connie, if you haven't received a box from Donkers yet, be on the lookout. Woohoo, they finally reopened. And Connie, you know that I got those sea salt caramels, and I have eaten some. I have them right over here on my shelf. I'm hiding them from Steve because I gave him one and he really likes them. And he can't have them. He got one. <laughs> Anyways, I love, love, love this card. And maybe we'll be doing this this week, making um, a buckle card like that because they're really easy and very pretty. All right, next I have a card from Donna McCammy. Donna's from Ryle, Wisconsin. I know where that is. I had a friend that lived there. I wish I could remember her name. I worked at a big law firm in Madison for many years, and she worked there in the accounting department. And I know Rio is really small, so you might even know who I'm talking about. Like, it's really small. This card, look at, first look at the envelope. How pretty is that, right? Yeah, she used the designer series paper and then did some sponging or daubering on it. Very, very pretty. Here's the card. Look how pretty that is. So, again, designer series paper, sponge daubered. And then she cut out a flower and put it on the front. And this is the elegant or the ornate garden dies on here. So, so pretty. It says, wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. And look at the inside. Happy Mother's Day. Is that not just gorgeous? I was just like, oh, I gasped. It was so pretty. Um, it says... Kelly would love to take this time to thank you for all the many hours you share your ideas, smiles, and happiness with all of your viewers. I really feel like I know you. And I get that from a lot of people, and that is exactly what I am trying to do, is I have friends. I have friends online. We may have never met in person, but we know each other here, right? And that's why I talk so much. It's not just about stamping. That, to me, is boring. So... My show, I get to tell about my life. <laughs> Anyways, it says, um, I really feel like I know you, wish I did. Love also hearing about your granddaughter's arrival. Such a blessed time. My first Kennedy Lane will be three in July. In August, she'll be a big sister. They live in Illinois, and I sure miss them. You really are such a shining bright spot in this crazy world right now. So thank you for all you do. Big hugs. And it says Donna. Big hugs, Donna. Thank you, Donna. I, I love this card. I mean, this is just so, so pretty, isn't it? I love the card. I love the colors. I love, I love this on the edge. This is just a little layer that she tucked under there using the ornate dies. Like, so, so pretty. It's just so pretty. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right. I think we're ready to stamp, you guys. Are you ready to stamp? Are we ready? I am. And what you drinking tonight? You know what I have. I'm just same old, same old strawberry lemonade. <laughs> mm. I see Wendy's here and Claudia. And Claudia, don't worry. No matter how many people, well, I guess if I got a ton of emails about, you know, complaining about something that I do, I might pay attention to them. But everybody likes different things. That's what makes the world go round is different strokes for different folks, right? And everybody likes different things. And the majority of the time, the people that are telling me that are demonstrators. So the only reason they're watching is to get the card ideas. They don't want to get to know me. They don't care about my life. And that's fine. That's okay. 
but you need to find somebody else to watch or especially this one you're watching on the replay you have all the power to take that little that little cursor and take it right up to where you see the stamping start it's not rocket science people but people are getting cranky I get it we are all fed up I totally get that that's why we need to be here and be happy <laughs> right we need more laughing going on now uh, don't let me forget to show you my stuff that I got from Mother's Day because it's right here. Oh, I can show you one right now. Oh, look at how cute this is, you guys. It's a little, um, she had it made, right? At like probably Walgreens photo. Look at that baby. She is just the cutest little thing ever. Yeah. So I shared this picture for we, with you, and then um, Haley and Jared got me this for Mother's Day. And I, I just got the nicest Mother's Day gifts, and it's going to go right there where I can look at it all the time. Watermelon vodka with Sprite, Haley. You naughty girl. So I saw on Snapchat tonight that Haley was having her first adult beverage in nine plus months. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Let me get myself up here on the screen. Here I am. And I'm muted. And I hope we can go through the broadcast without any problems. I um, have my, what do they call this? Uh, webcam. As you can see, I have not done anything with it. It'll be a while because I don't know. That's just how I am. I get new things and they just stay there because I, it's hard. <laughs> Learning new things is hard, right? <laughs> I know. Okay, hang on. I got to see what, what Tyler just said. We appreciate all the COVID-19 videos. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I really am enjoying my time with you guys, too. I know you guys think that I'm just doing this fabulous, wonderful thing, but you're helping me, too. Oh, are you kidding, Lisa? I'm starting to up. That's going to make me mad. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hang on. I'm gonna... I really am enjoying my time with you guys, Okay. Too. Well, I'll keep this on over here a little bit. Just please let me know if it gets to the point where you can't understand me, okay? So, um, speaking of which, Lisa um, bought a, a baby gift for the baby, and she sent me a beautiful card. And so I am going to be recreating that tonight. I hear that I'm breaking up a little bit more now. We're just going to keep going until it gets to the point where you can't hear me, okay? Whoops. And so I'm going to be sharing Lisa's card, and I'll be making another card so I can show you how to make it. And it's really, really pretty. It's a little fun fold. It's a very simple fun fold. Yep, I know I'm breaking up right now. I've got my sound on over here on my laptop so I can see here hear how bad it's getting. As long as you can still understand me, I'm going to keep going. Okay, but thank you guys for telling me because I need to know when things are going wrong. All right, I think we're ready. Hang on, let me move this out of the way so that I don't spoil the surprise. Okay, and then we're going to start the I have a couple of projects for you tonight. And a couple samples to show you. I put my little cheat sheet up here. I've got my complete. Okay. We're going to flip the camera around now and we're going to begin. Okay, hang on. I'm just watching my laptop because it's so good. Okay, here we go. Close your eyes until I get you in place. I don't want anybody throwing up. I'm going to move these so they're not glaring at you. And get this all straight. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so this is my blog right here, you guys. This is my landing page. This is where you can find all the information about me. And when I first come on, I say kelly at a stamp .com. That's my blog. This is my current host code. If anybody would like to place an order and your order is under $150, please use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. All right, like I said, 
I am going to I am going to be using um well I'm not really using the stamp set or the dies, but this is the stamp set and the dies that go with the Parisian Blossoms Specialty Designer Series paper. And isn't this just gorgeous? This coordinates with the champagne foil sheets, which are absolutely delicious too. Okay, and I'm just listening a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm better now, so it's not breaking up as much. Okay, you guys, I'll, I'll try to keep an eye on my screen so I know what's happening too. Okay, so anyways, I decided to pick this paper because I just really love it. It's soft and beautiful. It reminds me of spring. I'm not a big Paris person. I don't really care so much about that, but I do love that Eiffel Tower, and I remembered what it's called from a few minutes ago. That's huge. <laughs> But anyways, I just think this paper is so, so pretty, and you can make just the prettiest cards with it. So I really wanted to work with it a little more. This is retiring with our annual, or with our spring catalog. Uh, June 2nd is the last day you can get it. So I just wanted to let you know that. This is the bundle that matches it. There's also another bundle that goes with it. And let me see if I can find that quick. My catalog is really getting beat up here. Um, Paris. Here we go. Page 17 in the Spring Mini Catalog. So here's all the beautiful cards. Look at how pretty these are, right? There's paper. We've got two bundles that go with this. An embossing folder, the champagne rhinestones, and this pretty ribbon that we're going to use. This is the other stamp set that matches the suite of products as well, it's called Forever Blossoms and then the Cherry Blossom Dies. And as long as we're here, you guys, I wanna make sure you know, when we have a new product like this and there's stamp set and matching dies, you're always going to find a bundled number, meaning that when you order with this number, you're gonna get a 10% discount and it's gonna give you the stamp set and the dies. If you order with this number and this number, you're gonna pay more. If you're gonna get both of them, you wanna always look for this little symbol right here. So, there you go. But anyways, yeah, it's it's just really beautiful. There's a ton of great ideas in the mini catalog using this. Like I said, I didn't even use the stamp set. Instead, oh, hang on, I got things falling. Hang on just a second. Oh my gosh. Oh God. Here, you guys. I just threw a bunch of pearls on the floor. Yeah, I had my office all cleaned up last week, but that's over. <laughs> all over. Okay, so I'm gonna set these aside. What I did decide to bring in was the So Sentimental and the Stitched So Sweetly dies. I love the set of dies, and I love the coordinating sentiment set. These have been on back order for a very long time. They are now back in the store. I do believe they are on low inventory. So if you couldn't get them before because they went unorderable, they are hugely popular. Each one of these little rectangles is a stitched scalloped die. So it does the stitching and then it has the scallop around the edge. And I've been using these for a ton of things. So I just wanted to make sure you know these are available again. Um, I'm pretty sure they're carrying over to the big catalog, just so you know, but I know sometimes it's hard if you can't get your hands on them when you want them, so that's why I thought, oh, I'll use these tonight, because they're available again. Then I love the fonts in the So Sentimental stamp set. Okay, let's get busy. So, Lisa's card that she shared with me, I'm calling it Lisa's Z Fold card, and it's a smaller Z Fold than what we're usually, nor norm what we're usually normally what we're used to and that's why I thought oh this will be a lot of fun all the dimensions can be found um, above this video once I am done being live okay I will go in and type them up and I will put a whole bunch of links there'll be a link to my blog link to my online store um, there'll probably be a blog link that won't work for a while because it takes me a couple hours at least to get everything ready and on my blog once I'm done so just know that these dimensions will be listed for you above the video on Facebook and then again on my blog. I am using Cherry Cobbler, and Cherry Cobbler is one of the coordinating colors 
that goes with this Parisian Blossom specialty paper. This is five and a half by eight and a half, just like normal. This is a half a sheet of cardstock. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna score it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. Okay, so we've got two score lines there. I've also got another piece of cherry cobbler, and this is two and a quarter by eight and a half. And I'm going to score that the same at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. Okay, there we go. We're done with this for a little bit. And now we're going to fold on our score lines. This middle one just folds your card in half. And then this folds backwards. And I see some of you coming in here. Catherine says, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. And I'm wishing all of you a Happy Mother's Day also. Okay, so here's our card. And then this piece we're going to fold in half and fold it back just like we did the card base. Now, these are both scored at the same, right? They're both eight and a half inches, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this one around and it's gonna go on here like this, okay? So pretty easy, right? Now I've got all these designer series papers cut and let's see, I'm going to use this one. This is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Then I have two of these that are two by five and three eighths. And I'm gonna put one here and one here. Oops, I think this is the one that I wanted here. Yep, because I, want, I wanted these to go a certain way. And this one here, okay. We are ready to find our glue. Hang on, I lost my glue. Nobody knows. Where did the glue go? Maybe this is it. I think I put it in the wrong place. Imagine that. Okay, I think the sound quality is pretty good right now, right? Um, we're going to put this in place on the bigger panel here. And I have a very small margin on this card. Now, of course, you can make your margin any size you want just by adjusting how big your designer series paper is. If you want a bigger margin, just make your paper a little bit smaller. Your designer series paper, that's what I mean. Here comes my next one. This one's gonna go right in here, right in between the score lines. And then this one. And like I've been saying, if it kills you to cover up this beautiful floral side, buy yourself two packs of the paper and then you won't have to feel so chintzy with them. That's the way I always feel like, I have to be so chintzy with them so I don't run out. Just get two packs. Okay, here we go. Isn't that pretty already? I love all the color coordination. Now, with this piece, we are going to, hang on while I figure out my life here. <laughs> Figuring out my life. We have this panel. And this one is two and an eighth by four and an eighth. Let's make sure that fits, it doesn't look right. But it, it, it is, I did it right. And you could use either side on here. There's keys or these little, whatever you call those. Little images, I don't know what they're called. Somebody knows what they're called though. Tell us what they're called. Look, I'll show it to you a little closer. And then I took a piece of our champagne foil and this is two by two and an eighth. And we're gonna put that right here, just like this. And then I'm gonna turn my, I'm gonna turn my sound down again so that I'm not hearing myself twice, that's annoying. And then this is white, it's also two by two and an eighth. And we're gonna put that right here. Did I do that wrong? Hang on. I may have. Nope, it's right. Okay. I don't think I got that really very straight, but you guys get the idea, right? All right. Now, um, I've got a little quarter inch by five and three eighths inch piece of the um, champagne foil 
And I love the way Lisa did this on her card, which hang tight because I will show you her card. It is so very pretty. It was actually a card that she made for Haley and Jared with, um, came with a little gift bag. Do you like that, Lisa? Lisa and I had a little chat about them. Hang on, I just got some glue on the front of my foil paper. You want to be careful of that because it makes kind of funny marks. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then you've got that foil in here and the foil in here. So, so pretty. Okay, here's what we do with this. This gets folded up just like that. And it's going to go right on the front of this card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and add some glue right here. Okay, you don't want to go too far because you don't want it to be hanging off the back here. So now I'm going to put this right on the very edge, just like that. Okay. And now we're going to open it up and we're going to put glue all over this panel. That's right here. We're going to hold our card closed just like that. And I just got some glue on my fingers, so hang tight. <gasps> look at how simple that is and look at how spectacular this is that paper is what do you guys think I think I'm in love just completely in love okay next uh, let me find some dimensionals well those will have to work I had a whole sheet of them out here someplace I don't know what I did with them anyways okay next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the heart punch. I love the way Lisa put a little heart on here and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this as a heart. Oh, I gotta make sure my words are right side up. So I'm gonna punch out of these French words. Okay, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this one here. I could do this one or I could come over and pull from this. What do you guys like? Which one do you like the best? We've got number one or number two or number three. <laughs> I'm almost feeling like we need to pull in that pool party color because we don't have very much of that here. We could do it with that one or this one. And now I lost track of my numbers, so I'm going to have to make a decision. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got a number one and number two, the words. The words, you like the words. Okay, let's look at that. Yeah, let's do it that way. How about the words? You like the words in there? I think I like the words. I, I lost track of my numbers. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm like terrible, aren't I? It's a lot to remember. Okay, we're going with the words. And uh, where's my scissors? Who stole my scissors? Here they are. They're right where I put them back at. Nobody stole them, Kelly. Oh my lord. Here we go. Alright, so here comes our little heart. I'm gonna put that right here. How stinking cute is that? Right? Okay, we're not done yet, so hang on. The rest, this is so simple. This card, you guys, once you get your pieces cut, it is just so, so easy. So we are going to take a Whisper White scrap and a um, Cherry Cobbler scrap. And then I pulled out the Stitched So Sweetly dies. And I die cut a white out of the smaller one. Well, I guess the second smallest. And then um, I cut out a Cherry Cobbler out of this one. So I die cut those already. Here's my white one. I'm gonna put these back in here so I don't lose them. I never found my little pom-pom for the hat in the birthday bonanza, but I haven't, I never looked for it again either because I'm pretty sure I vacuumed it up. Okay, so we're going to bring this in here. Then I was thinking this would probably look best with cherry cobbler ink. And um, the stamp set again that I use is the So Sentimental. And the other card that I made, I made it with the Sending Healing Hugs. This one I'm going to do with I Can't Thank You Enough because I always need thank you cards. But you could certainly stamp um, the, the Get Well one or this calls for confetti and then put Happy Birthday on the inside someplace. Whatever you happen to need. I'm going to stand up and see if I can stamp this straight on here. I would generally stamp this first and then die cut it. Oh, look at how good I'm winning today. 
Okay, so that's Cherry Cobbler Ink. And then I'm going to, I don't know if I, I'm going to just glue this on here. You could use dimensionals if you wanted to, but I'm going to use dimensionals on the next layer. So we've got this. Also, you could have used Pool Party for the stamping, but, you know, whatever. Whatever makes you happy. Then we've got some more dimensionals we need. Here we go. I'm going to put a dimensional here and here. Are the heart punches going to be discontinued? That is a really good question. Let me take a little peek. Hang on, because I don't know the answer to that. <clears throat> oh, the heart punches are right in the front. And I marked my whole book up. Here we go. I don't think they are. They are not retiring. Yay! We need heart punches. I love heart punches. Do you guys love heart punches? Oh, and Janine says they are in the new book. Good deal. Thank you so much. Hang on, I just got ink on my fingers. All right, so now we're going to take this label and we're going to put it... I'm going to put it off to the left side, just like Lisa did. I want to bring this ribbon in. Oops. <laughs> I don't think that's long enough. Hang on. I might not be giving this ribbon away. No, I have another roll. Hang tight. Yep, here's my other roll. And in case you missed the time where I was trying to get these, this, um, this little plastic strip off of here, I like to kind of pinch up. The ribbon if you can get your fingers in there and then you can slide your scissors in to be able to get that plastic wrap off of there yeah all right here comes that beautiful metallic edged ribbon and I this ribbon is just so so pretty I'm just gonna take this and tie it in a double knot what do I have on my finger I don't even know what that is. Glue? All right. There we go. And I'm going to pull out my big scissors. My little scissors need to be cleaned so they're not cutting that great. When you get them all full of glue, they don't cut that good. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Now, this little panel right here is to sign your name in. And if you need a bigger than that... You can put a white panel on the back and you can sign your name there. But a lot of times, I don't want to write a lot in a card. I'm just like, you're in a hurry. You know, we're, we get in a hurry. So you've got your thank you greeting here and you can just say, Mary, you are the sweetest. Hugs Kelly. And there you go. Mary's going to know why, right? Okay, then um, where are those rhinestones? Right here. Here's my little, what are these called? Champagne rhinestones. I love these like they're so pretty and I've got my take your pick tool here and I am just going to add a few of these around on my layer you could really put them any place and then one place that I thought they were really cute was like right on my little heart there isn't that pretty one last thing I've got before I show you Lisa's card this is two and a half by six. I think this one's a little smaller than six, but it was just a scrap that I grabbed out of my package. And this is why you want to make sure you get two packs of the paper. Any designer series paper, just order two packs if you can, because then you won't feel like you can't do this. And this just adds so much. When people open up their mailboxes to get an envelope that's so pretty, I know it makes me happy. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to throttle me. I took my new catalog with me on the road trip yesterday, and I was just so happy to be out of the house. I, of course, did not bury my nose in it. I haven't even opened it yet. Who's ready to punch me? <laughs> I want to be able to sit down with it and not feel rushed. I also did not get my taxes done, nor did I even start them. <laughs> We're all being honest here. True confession, Sunday night, Facebook Live. Look at how pretty that is. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous, right? Yeah, love it. Okay, so 
I want to show you the other card that I made. Here's the envelope. This was the test run so I could feel like I knew what I was doing. Look at how cute that is. This is the Get Well one. I used Pool Party ink. Everything else is the same. All the dimensions are the same except I used black and black. So black cardstock. And then the designer paper is exactly the same pack. The Parisian Blossoms. It's all the same. Isn't that just cool? And I kind of did the same thing here with the heart. And again, dear Mary, hope you feel better soon. Hugs Kelly, right? We don't need to write a novel. Or you can write your novel back here. Sometimes I do like to write a novel. How pretty, right? Okay, you guys, I have another project to share with you. Whoops. Oh, wait, I got to show you Lisa's card. Hang on, let me, I'm dropping things. This is Lisa's card. I don't know where your envelope went, Lisa, but look at how cute this is. This is the Everything is Rosy Suite. This was a medley. <gasps> is it just precious? Yeah. See what she did? So happy for you, Haley and Jared. And then she did put a back on here. Thank you for allowing us to follow your story of your family. I'm so happy for you. Lisa, look at how pretty that is. I love her heart here. I love this navy blue. This was all part of that. Everything is rosy. That was a product medley from last year. And I know that it was just in the clearance rack not too long ago. I'm not sure if they have any left or not. Kathy said she took a quick skim of the new catalog. Yeah, I didn't. I know, Joanne can't believe it. I know, Joanne, right? But I really want to savor that first look through. I've looked at it online, not much, but I just, I like to make a whole event out of it and I don't want to feel rushed. So anyways, there's Lisa's card. Here's the cards that I made. I can't wait to send these out. These are so pretty, aren't they? And you saw how simple they were. This is and this piece are scored at the same dimensions and then you just flip them around. I love that. All right, now I have one more thing. This is kind of gonna go along with this whole um, set of cards. Let me get this cleaned off. Now, I will bring in the next project. I think we need to just leave all this stuff here too. That can go in the garbage. All right, here we go. Here's my little cheat sheet. Um, why do I have this? Oh, I, I made an envelope for that. What? Never mind, that just fell. I showed that to you guys already, right? I think so. Okay, here we go. So, I'm sorry to say that we do not sell a hole punch anymore. I guess they just, everybody had one and nobody was buying them. But whatever kind of hole punch you use, you just need it. That's where I'm going with that. Now, I'm going to bring in that Parisian Blossoms one more time. And we are going to, this is six by four. You can use any pattern that you want. I am going to score this on the long side at one and three quarters. Whoops, I think I just did that too much. Two and three quarters. You want to make sure you don't push too hard when you're using designer series paper because it can tear it. I haven't had it do it in a long time, so I could be wrong that it didn't just tear it, but we'll find out in a second. And if you do happen to tear your cards because you're pushing, yep, I did. See what I did? I pushed way too hard. You can take a piece of tape and you can put it on the other side and that will keep it right together. Let me see if I have any other tears. Okay, so we've done the long side at one and three quarters, two and three quarters, and four and a half. Okay? Hang on a second. One and three quarters. One and three quarters, yep. Two and three quarters. Oh, yep, there is one there. Four and a half and five and a half. Okay, so I, I missed that last one. Everything else here looks fine. Okay, that's on the long side. Short side, scoring at three. And let's see, three is gonna be this way. I'm gonna do this. This, this now is gonna be your bottom. Okay, done with that. This is a really fun, easy little project. And I'm gonna fold on my score line so that I can see what I'm doing. 
There's my bone folder. And it's going to be a nice little matchy-matchy for my pretty little card. What happened here? There we go. All right, and then I'm going to also fold and burnish these edges so that I can cut my tabs on the bottom. This is one of the easiest little containers to make because there's just not much to it. See what I got on my finger? I don't know what I got all over my hands. Okay, enough whining, right? No more whining. Here we go. We're going to cut, cut. You're cutting up to that three inch score line, which is really now only one inch from the bottom. And here, and then we're gonna cut this little piece off right here. And then just so that your box folds up nice, if you want to cut a little sliver off each one of your tabs, well that was kind of a lot of sliver, keep it really small. There we go. That looks like a lot too. This, you, can, you can catch both of them at one time if you just fold it backwards like this. I just came up with that. It's kind of genius, right? <laughs> okay, and now we are going to take some tear and tape. Now, glue will probably work with this, but I hate it when my stuff falls apart. Like, I cringe. And I don't want your stuff to fall apart because we shouldn't be making this stuff twice. Once is enough. Got my take your pick tool here. And I'm going to get this off of here. Now, easiest way to do this is just to fold it down and push it together, and now you've got your cute little box, okay? And then we're going to push these tabs in. This goes just like this, so I need one little piece of tear and tape on here. I love making little matching things. And if you're sending your card in the mail, you could actually um, put it in a little bubble envelope and send your little treat too. And yes, it's going to cost you more, but I think my friends are worth it. That's Some of them aren't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but there are people that you want to do a little extra for. Now, all I did was push these sides in and pinch that down. And now I'm going to try and do this right in the center. I'm going to put... A little hole and a little hole just like that and whatever you punch holes with we don't sell this anymore and I apologize but we don't really have a good hole puncher for this type of thing now I've got my ribbon cut at a good sharp angle so that I can put that point through my holes because these are pretty small these are only eighth inch holes I'll pull that through and I'm going to uh, tie a bow. Oh, oh wait, mm, hang on. Here we go, where'd that little piece of paper go? Here it is. Hershey Nuggets fit in here perfectly, you guys. And um, I like to take and cover them with designer paper that matches, okay? So this little Hershey Nugget or I'm sorry, this piece of paper is one by three. And again, you can try and use t um, glue for this, but tear and tape really is the better choice to put on your designer paper to keep this from falling apart. So here's what you do. I put my tape on this end. I'm going to lay this on here and bring it around. I'm kind of holding it nice and tight right around my Hershey Nugget. That's what these are, Hershey Nuggets. Look at how pretty that is. This goes right in our little bag. You can fit a couple of them in here. Here's another one that I did, okay? Both of them will fit in this little bag. Well, now I got them kind of jacked up, but trust me. Okay, there we go. And it'll still close. I'm gonna dump that one. I'll dump those out so that I can show them to you again. But any kind of little treat will fit in here. Whatever you choose to put in here. You could put a pair of earrings in here too. Like a bunch of different things will fit. Then I'm just going to tie this in a knot. And then I'll bring my card back out here so you can see the whole enchilada. Make sure you leave your tails long enough to give yourself a nice little bow. Oops, grab the wrong end. 
There we go. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? So here's our card and a little bag treat. Now, where did I get this idea from? Terry Molinax. Remember, she sent me all these little Easter treats. They've got chocolate in them. Um, some of them do because I've been eating the others. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And look at how cute these are. That's exactly what this is. Now, if you wanted to, you could stamp something and put it on the front, but I just thought this little bag with the little Hershey Nuggets would work great. Yeah, so there you go. Okay, um, let's see. I'll have all of the dimensions up in a little while after I'm done. Right now, I'm going to flip the camera around so I can show you my presents that I got today because they're pretty cool. Let me get all this mess cleaned up. Here, we'll keep that. I don't. I can't throw that away, right? Okay, here we go. I'm going to flip you around. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I'm back. Whoops, I almost dropped you. Heaven to Betsy. And I like that I have a little matching bag, right? Because that's super, super cute. Nice little gift idea. This all, all this came from Lisa's card. And I see I'm kind of freezing up again. And Terry's little Easter basket deals. That's where this came from. Super fun, right? Yeah. Okay, presents? Are we still doing okay on, I'm not breaking up too bad? Okay, so I showed you this, right? I showed you for somebody that may come up late. This is Little Miss Gal, and Haley and Jerry got me this for Mother's Day. It's on a, like, they had it made at probably Walgreens or someplace like that. Super, super cute, right? She's going to stay in here with us. This is where I spend most of my time. I need her right here. I think I'll need some more pictures, though, because I want them everywhere. <laughs> okay. Then also from Haley and Jared, I got these refrigerator magnets. Am I breaking up, you guys? I'm really sorry. A little bit. Not too bad. So I got this one. And it's a refrigerator big magnet. Look at how cool that is. And they stick to the magnet. Like, they're not coming off. Remember this picture I took? She was laying in my lap. That is my Stamping Up Founder Circle playing on my lap. For those of you that have ever gone to Founder Circle, that was my first year when we got the people in like this. And of course, this one, I think Jared took this picture when I was over one day. That's at their house. Yeah, it's not my cable. It's the internet. I think the servers are overloaded. It's nothing here. I have a strong internet. I tested it. Uh, it's working fine. I call my cable company. There's nothing wrong with my internet. I am wireless. So I'm not connected by cable to anything. Yeah, it's just the server. Isn't it precious? And then another time I flip the camera and it's breaking up. It's just, um, I, I don't think it has anything to do with anything. Okay. Then, Stephanie came today. here. <laughs> First of all, I love this giant pitcher because that is going to be filled with margaritas. Yeah. I love making margaritas. So I have a margarita. These are heavy. I have a strawberry margarita. And Stephanie goes, and just so you know, the booze is already in there. <laughs> I, told this. I think this is from her. Haley, this is from Stephanie, right? I think it is. 
and a couple limes. These sunglasses, they're plastic. Oh, you can't hear what I was saying? Stephanie so told me, don't have booze in me. I don't need to add more booze. Got these. Another one. And we had to eat some of those hints of lime chips salsa that's in the refrigerator I had to eat earrings. Oh, is it really breaking up that bad? Yes, Tiki Party. Oh, I think I'm sounding okay again, right? Party at my house. <laughs> so yeah, what a fun day. I had just a wonderful Mother's Day. It's been fabulous. And I'm going to mute myself again. I know I'm breaking up. Jane says, keep going. Okay. I just don't want to be going. Ooh, 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 ooh. I did that on purpose. <laughs> so, Sandra tried the Sour Patch Kids watermelon and she's hooked. I know. Eat that with popcorn. The popcorn. Delicious. All right, you guys. Does anybody have any questions that I might have missed? How are you? guys doing? Did you have a good weekend? Is everyone doing okay? I know I was kind of talking a little bit at the beginning. That I'm, I'm, this is starting to get long now, right? Like it's enough. The madness needs to stop. But I'm obviously going to have a little bit easier time than most. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you guys probably think I'm a big lush, but I hardly ever drink. Like I have, I've, I've had two old fashions in the last month. Like I don't drink hardly at all. So yeah, party time. Yeah, Shelby. <laughs> it's going to be party time. I love these. These are going to be super fun. We don't allow glass. So nobody can have glass by the pool. So these are plastic, which is perfect. And all the kids know this. That's why the picture is also, this is so pretty, isn't it? Also plastic because we don't allow glass by the pool. We can't have that out there. But I love this. I wonder where she got these. I would like to get some more. Oh, and then she got me this whole big thing. So we can like put ice in here and put stuff in it or whatever. Oh, but she can't find me. Huh. Sorry, guys. Because my thing is not streaming right. <laughs> you guys know how the tiniest little thing can send me right over the edge with the hot flash, right? <laughs> I don't know what it is with that. But it really must be something in your chemical makeup or whatever that just gives you a little bit of woo. Yeah. And he says she's a little better, but okay. Yeah, I think I'm gaining a little bit of weight too. Yeah. Marsha doesn't do sour. I get it. I, I don't really like sour stuff either. I'm more spicy and lots of sugar. <laughs> did I tell everyone that I'm at 950,000? I did um, the other night. There's another link off of my million dollar chain. I hit 950,000. Did I say million before? 950,000. That was really fun. So. We'll wait. I'll announce when I have another chair. So that I, I grab and then I'll let you go. I'm glad you're here with me. 
you tonight. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I will be back tomorrow.